Anteaters are curious looking animals. Their long heads and snouts look like tubes and they have no teeth at all. Anteaters use their strong front legs and heavy claws to break open nests of ants and termites. When the insects rush out, the anteaters eat them with their long sticky tongues. Anteaters live in the swamps and forests of Central and South America. They are related to sloths and armadillos, which also live in Latin America. The largest species is the giant anteater. From the tip of its snout to the end of its tail, the giant anteater is about 1.8 meters long. Its coat is mostly gray and its long tail is bushy. It feeds on the ground by day and by night. There are two different species of lesser anteater, but they look very similar. Lesser anteaters are only about half the length of giant anteaters. They also have shorter muzzles. Lesser anteaters have tan, black, or tan and black coats. They live in trees and feed at night. They use their long, nearly hairless tails to climb on tree branches. The silky or two-toed anteater is the smallest of the group. It is the size of a squirrel. It has a silky ye yellowish coat and a long furry tail. Like lesser anteaters, the silky anteater lives in trees and feeds at night. The first thing I'm going to do when I'm getting ready to draw is to practice some basic shapes. Let's first practice some circles. I'm going to hold my pencil loosely, not too close to the tip, loosely back a little bit, and I'm going to use my whole arm. You can see that my wrist is not bending like that. It's not bending in the middle. So I'm going to loosely draw some circles, keep going around, and I'm just balancing on my pinky finger there. So go around and around and around for some circles. I'm staying very loose using my whole arm. My whole arm is moving. And some bigger circles. And as I keep going around, it's becoming more and more a circle. And then I can do the same thing for some little circles. I'm just not moving my arm as much. I also want to try some lines. So again, I'm holding back from the tip, moving my whole arm back and forth for some straight lines. And I want to try some rectangles. I'm going to come down, down, and then make sure that it's meeting each side at the corners. Okay, it's crossing over at the corners. There we go, crossing over. So let's try another one. Straight line, straight line, straight line crossing, straight line crossing. And that's going to get me all ready to draw. To draw my anteater, I have a pencil, I have a dark brown marker, I have a clicky eraser, it doesn't need to be a clicky eraser, just any eraser. And I like to use kneaded erasers. Now you don't have to have one, but it's nice. But you do need to have an eraser in case you make a mistake. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm drawing my anteater is I'm going to make a rectangle. So I'm just going to do a straight line another straight line. I might actually bring it out a little further there. Okay, and then I'm gonna close off my straight line there, close off my rectangle there, and I'm going to do uh, a line at the bottom for the ground. So let's see here. I've got about uh, four fingers and then two fingers down. 
I'm going to start with a circle that's going to take uh, most of the height of this rectangle. And you can see it, it takes almost half of that rectangle. I'm going to come along and make a smaller circle pretty close to that first circle. And then that's about one finger away and then about two fingers away at the bottom of this I'm going to draw just a small circle. Okay, and this is getting the shape for our anteater. What I can do is I can draw now a really big furry tail that comes out and that actually might be a little too long but it is definitely nice and furry and sticks out the back. Okay, there we go. And then he's got a nice back and I'm pretty much going to draw just straight down across these circles. Straight down across these circles. There we go. And then it has a little eye here and then a little ear. It does have a long nose. I'm going to continue this line right down. There we go. And that's about two fingers and my tail is about three to four fingers. And I can give him a little mouth there. There we go. He's got his anteater nose, he's got an ear, and he has his eye. Let's look at its legs now. So this line that we've drawn is the ground. His hind leg is going to come out from about the center of that circle, bend at the knee or ankle and come down. There we go. And the second one really just comes straight down and then bends at the ankle. His front leg comes off this middle circle here. So it comes down and then bends a little bit. And then his other one is going to come where this circle meets the square, where, where the circle meets the rectangle, sorry and it's gonna come straight down here. They have really big claws for digging out the ants. So let's start with his body. Fix his tail a little bit there. So his body's gonna come around here. He's going to have his hip, bend at the knee here, and then come down to a foot. And then this is gonna come up into its hip. So you can see the hip is taking up most of the circle there. And then his other leg is going to come down, bend at the ankle there, and then come straight up to what's going to be his stomach. So we can join up those two circles there. And his front leg, again, we need its shoulder come down into his foot, up to its shoulder, and then his other leg comes straight down, straight down, kind of in a little bit of a triangle actually, and they've got really big claws at the front. So those are kind of bent over into some sharp claws there. And then we're going to just continue this straight to its neck. And that is the pencil drawing for our anteater. I'm going to put my pencil down, grab my kneaded eraser, and just lightly move it over my drawing. so that I don't have too much pencil. And now I'm ready to use a dark brown marker. Now I can go around my anteater. I'm gonna start, let's start at the tail here. 
And even if I do his tail like this, I can then add tons of just quick straight lines because they are very, very furry and they have very furry tails. So I can add in lots of these short straight lines. And now it looks like he's got a really furry tail. He's got a bit of a hip there. We're gonna come and do his hind leg, bending at the ankle, and then around into his hip. His other leg here, bending at the ankle, coming down, they've got pretty narrow feet actually. And this comes straight back up, pretty close to his other leg. And that's gonna take us into his belly. And then we've got his front leg. So there's his shoulder coming down into the ankle and coming back up and getting a bit wider. And then the other front leg is a bit more of a triangle and it's pretty straight. And then of course, we're gonna come in to its claws that he has for digging. There we go, makes, him, makes it hard for him to walk, the claws on his front leg. And then we're gonna come straight here and then into his long nose that he uses for eating. And he's got just a little bit of a mouth there. And then I can come across his back all the way down pretty straight to his head and he's got an ear and he's got an eye and then if you want you can go along and just make these little jagged marks back and forth zigzags to make them look pretty furry there we go So if you continue that all the way around, I'll just do it quickly here, just to make it look like he's got some fur. And that is our anteater.